Hello everyone, my name is Timo, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the cluster protocol on your Windows device. We will start by installing Arduino IDE. Then we will install the cluster protocol with its necessary libraries in two different ways. First, we will need to go to our wiki page, which is the first link below, and then go to Windows installation. Then we need to install the Arduino IDE. We go to the Arduino IDE downloads page and look for Windows. We click on the download and wait for it to be downloaded. After the download is complete, open the installation and give it the necessary permissions. For an easy installation process, Make sure to install it on your C drive. During the installation, give it the necessary permissions to use your USB ports. After the installation is complete, open your Arduino IDE to make sure it's successfully installed. Now we need to go back to our wiki page and go to step 2. Copy the URL visible in step 2 and go back to your Arduino IDE. Open File, Preferences, and paste the URL where it says Additional Boards Manager. Now restart the IDE to make sure the installation is correct. Once the IDE is open, we go to Tools, Board, Board Manager. Inside of the Board Manager, we type in ESP32 and we install the latest version. To verify the installation, go back to Tools, Board, and look for ESP32 Arduino. In this example, I will use, be using the Heltec Wi-Fi V2. You have successfully installed the Arduino IDE in the ESP32 core. We can move on to installing Git Bash to install the Clustertuck protocol. We go back to the wiki page and look for Git Bash. We download Git Bash from Windows and wait for the download to be complete and then install it. Follow the installation process. We recommend all the default settings. After you successfully installed Git Bash, we can move on to installing the CDP. If you have SSH enabled on the computer you're using with your GitHub account, how to do this is linked below, you can use a script install. First, fork the Cloudstack protocol to your private GitHub account. Then, copy this URL and then paste it into Git Bash. Make sure you provide the correct GitHub username which you forked the cluster protocol from. Then, you need to give access to your public keys or provide a password for SSH. It will take a second to download the cluster protocol and all its necessary libraries. To verify the installation, open or reopen Arduino IDE and go to File, Examples, and look for Cluster Duck. Go to the Ducks folder and open any of the example files. Make sure your ESP32 board is connected under Tools, Board, ESP32, and click on the left top check mark to do compiling. Wait for it to say done compiling 
And now you know you successfully installed the CDP with the SSH script install. If you don't have SSH enabled on your GitHub account, you can install it manual. We go back to our wiki page and go to the manual install tab. We copy the first command and open up git bash. From there, we want to navigate to documents, Arduino, libraries. In here, we want to paste the command and wait for it to download the cluster protocol and its necessary libraries. After it's done downloading, we need to open our file explorer and go to documents, Arduino, libraries, and we can see the cluster protocol. Inside of there, there's a libraries folder. We copy all these libraries in there and move them two folders back to the Arduino libraries folder, and we can paste them there. To verify the installation, open or reopen the Arduino IDE and go to Files, Examples, and look for Cluster Duck. Open any of the example files and make sure your IDE is set to the ESP32 board. So go to Tools, Boards, ESP32, and in this example, I will be using the Heltec V2. Then click on the top left check mark and compile. Now, you should have successfully set up the cluster protocol on your computer with the Arduino IDE. Go to our next video to see how you can flash into a development board. And if you need any help, feel free to reach out to us on Slack. Everything will be linked below.